And we're back here from Hoy Field. Big Red taking on the Dartmouth Big Green in game two of this uh, doubleheader. Abilities uh, with these two guys. Bat there it. goes Wetzel. Pitch is going to be taken for a ball. The throw down, not going to be in time. And J.D. Wetzel now pulls into a tie with uh, Tom D'Alessandro as far as the stolen base lead on this team. Wetzel at eight, D'Alessandro at eight. Now in a 1-0 count, D'Alessandro has a chance to drive in a run here. As a two-hitter, you got to be a little bit more flexible uh, with, a, with a guy who's going to steal bases. You have to really uh, take your time. Here's the 3-1 pitch to Dallasandro, and he grounds one through the infield into center field. Wetzel coming around third. Fielding this is Rupert. He'll throw into the infield. It's cut off by Selzer. And just like that, the Big Red are able to get on the scoreboard. It's one to nothing on an RBI single by Tom Dallasandro. And you know what set that up? The J.D. Wetzel base hit and the stolen base, getting himself into scoring position. And that's what speed can do for you. The Big Red have a one nothing lead. Yeah. One nothing our score, Cornell leading and now scores a hits one, a dribbler to third. Fielding this and throwing to the plate and retiring the runner, D'Alessandro, is the third baseman, Lombardi. Home plate umpire took a spill there, trying to get out of the way and maintained his composure enough to make the call. Nice attempt there by D'Alessandro. He got a good jump and it was a great play by Lombardi and McDowell, uh, the third baseman and catcher for Dartmouth to kind of orchestrate that out that happened here with the infield drawn in plant here it's a ground ball through the drawn in infield into left field for a base hit yeah. that'll drive in a run it's two to nothing Cornell and a nice RBI single for Ryan Plantier his second hit of this game Wetzel <coughs> in this game is one for three single and scored the first big red run back in the third inning so Cornell leads it two to nothing after an RBI single from Ryan Plantier Plantier now at second base, and Wetzel lines one out towards right center field. That should score the run, and it, it's go, it looks like it could be extra bases. Wetzel digging for two, and he's going to get it. All hustle for Wetzel out of the box, and he's got himself a double and an RBI. The Big Red now take a 3 to nothing lead. Here comes the 1-0. That ball's lined into center field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to score one. It's probably going to score two. Wetzel's throw will be to the cutoff man, and just like that, Dartmouth right back into this game with an RBI, two RBI single into center field off the bat of Joe Puritano. Ball still behind in the count, 3-1, two outs, runners at first and second for Dartmouth. Here comes the 3-1. That ball's lined into right field, that's gonna be a base hit, it should tie this game. Fielding this is Cruz, he fires into the infield, it'll be cut off by Plantier, throw to third, not gonna be in time. And just like that, Dartmouth storms back here in the bottom of, in the top of the seventh inning. 1-0 count, two down. Malastrieri working out of the stretch, and that pitch is going to get away from Matt Hall. Throw to the plate, not going to be in time, and Dartmouth have taken the lead. Rulis now at the plate. He's a switch hitter, goes back over to the left side of the plate. He started this game on the left side, moved over to the right side to face left-handed relievers and Busto and Horton. Now back to the other side. That ball is going to be looped into left field. That's going to be a hit. Fielding this and firing to the plate is Swinford. Here's the throw. And it looked like he got him. Colin McGee has a case there. It looked like when the runner had slid in, he applied the tag. The home plate umpire says safe, and just like that, Dartmouth has a lead. Here comes the 1-0. That ball is lifted high into the air to center field, going back, but short of the track, and making the catch out there is Rupert. That will end the game. The Big Red squander an opportunity here in the late goings. They lose this one 5-4. They'll finish their first Double header of Ivy League play, splitting with Dartmouth. They took the first one in walk-off fashion, 3-2. They fall in game two, 5-4.